and one of the first groups that came to talk to me in my office after I was elected in Seoul and Suffolk County was a group of uh, Latina teachers and they were talking about some of the issues in the, in the school district, how to improve uh, the bilingual education, a bunch of ideas they had. They, it was amazing the, the amount of time we spent talking about the ideas and the suggestions they had and the insight that they had. Today, I am proud to announce that I have secured $347,500 for the 2024 and 2025 budget for the, the historic, uh, for the incredible work that they do. This historic investment marks a significant milestone in our commitment to education and to our youth who are here today, some of them who are here today. It includes 225,000 designated for the continuation and expansion of Lilta's essential programs, which play a crucial role in developing future educators. Part of these funds, which includes 120,000 in capital funds, is to establish a permanent residence here for Lilta in our community. It's not every day that we have statewide leaders come to our town, and, and we appreciate our Lieutenant Governor Antonio Delgado. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. Phil Ramos, for your leadership, for your dedication, for your commitment to service. Be the individuals who care about the public, public service. The individuals who actually have a heart, uh, who love the community, and certainly Deputy Speaker is one of those individuals. I also want to acknowledge the president of the Long Island Latino Teachers Association, Daphne Ferrazzati your work and for your leadership and making sure all of our children have access and we have to at the state level do everything we can to assist our families to assist our young people because we all know how important education truly is when I was growing up in Schenectady in a working-class family my parents preached to me all the time that education was the great equalizer it is that gateway that we have a responsibility as public officials to continue to support every single step of the way. I hope you understand that we are signaling to you at the state level that we care and that we are going to show up, that we are going to listen, that we are going to continue to work with every single one of you to elevate the importance of education. If we don't get that right, then we're not doing the service to our young people. And please know that Myself and Governor Hochul are here with you and for you. I always say no matter who asks, no matter where I am, it was Phil's idea to begin an organization. And it was his idea because of his commitment to education. Uh, today is a great day for Lilda, yes, our district, Long Island, but it's a better day for our children. It's a day to celebrate them and let them know que si se puede, señores, si se puede.